Yeah, just about four, I would say. 3.5, four-ish. Or 3.75, whatever. But, yeah. I think it looks fine. Nothing really hype-inducing for me, personally. I don't think they really showed anything different here. It just looked a little bit more polished, if that makes sense. Kind of the same energy as the original reveal. A lot of repeat content. I don't know. Looks fine. So, MBG was pissed at people coming at him for his God of War PC announcement. And um, Saltiest Gaming deleted his video about the God of War PC port? Aw, oh, shit, man. I didn't fucking download it. Unfortunate. But here, let me write that time down. So, 1, 4, 1, 30... Yeah, bro, Saltiest Gaming's a fucking bitch. That dude talks so much shit, but then gets fucking clowned on regularly. Yeah, I don't fucking know, man. That's some bitch shit for sure. Salty was born to be clowned. Oh, definitely. It's about all he's good for, to be honest. So 343 might finally deliver on Halo Infinite, and it's about time. I mean, the multiplayer itself was solid, so... I think they've already delivered, in my opinion. If the multiplayer is like the... What do you call it? Beta? Then I think it's going to be really good. I think it's shaping up to be a very good game already. Just from a multiplayer aspect, which... You know, for the price of free 99 I don't know. Hard to beat. X videos surpassed 10 million videos. Congrats. Yeah, big ups to the team at X videos, man. Congratulations on your success. Curious how multiplayer story stuff ties in with the campaign? It probably doesn't. I have no fucking idea. I didn't even know multiplayer had a story. <laughs> like, for real. Crap Gamer claims that Sony ruined the campaign reveal? That's pretty interesting, man. How does that logic work? How does that one work, exactly? Are you a diehard Fortnite fan? Absolutely, bro. Eat, sleep, Fortnite, repeat. 100%, man. I live, breathe, and shit Fortnite. Because you're not just playing Fortnite. You're changing lives. And when you get that Vic Roy, you're changing lives, too. Ask mommy for the visa. Skirt, skirt. Absolutely, man. I got a date with a girl tomorrow. I'm super excited. Oh, yeah. Well, I got a date with a guy tomorrow. Top that. Did they reveal it before showing? Wait, what? 
Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Dusty with the five months of tier one. Appreciate it, bro. What's good, Griff? Can I get a gaming? Absolutely, man. Gaming. Bro, I don't even think Fortnite's overrated. It's just like, it was really fucking popular. One man show with the two can flex seal fix DSP's marriage and fix his taxes. I think so, man. I think so. But who knows? That's a lot of fucking fixing. Maybe flex seal would not be able to fix that. Maybe it's just about the only thing it can't fix. Remember the Fortnite man child? I do, man. But I guess the question I should ask is which one? <laughs> like, there's a fucking lot of them. Flex Seal is overrated. I've never used it. I've never used Flex Seal. I've never really had a use for it. So I've never tested it out, but the dude who made it made a fuck ton of money. Like... I don't know, there's a lot of money to be made in like those as seen on TV like advertisement products. Like even if they only sell for like a couple months total, you can make so much money in a short period of time that you literally can become a billionaire. Why are Sony channels hating on the Halo campaign? Because they have nothing until Horizon comes out, which that game's going to be a fucking snooze fest anyway, if we're being honest. I've made a lot of money just by knowing people and manipulate the stupid, honestly. I mean, congrats, I guess, man. <laughs> How do you get money manipulating the stupid? Oh, shit. Phil Spencer versus Darkside Phil versus Phil Swift, who wins? Well, considering Phil Swift probably has the most amount of money, he could hire a bunch of, like, fucking, like, mercenaries to come and kneecap everybody else, so... Probably him. But then again, DSP is a fucking cockroach. And those bitches can survive a nuke. So, SYS Lewis of the Five Bro, the assistant who handed Alec Baldwin the gun was fired recently for a gun mishap. That shit wild, by the way. What's up, Bucko? How are you doing? Pretty good, man. Pretty damn good. Can't complain. Yo, I should become a Twitch socialist. That could be my new fucking grift. Take a bunch of money from a bunch of dumbass socialists and just be like, <laughs> dumbass. Dumbass scrub. Bro, I should just make a random fucking channel and upload a video called Capitalism is Evil. <laughs> and just watch the money come in. 
and just griff the shit out of all these fucking morons. Capitalist bad, 10 million views. That's right, bro. I could work my entire life at McDonald's and only make $15 an hour, but this rich piece of shit can be born into a wealthy family and never work a day in his life. And he gets more money than me in a fucking month than I get in a decade. Capitalism is fucking evil. Bro, easy views. Literally just make people think like, Oh my god, bro, you're right. I don't get as much money as someone else. Capitalism bad. DJ Aftershock with a 2. I hear Griffin was very excited about... Or excited by Lucas's muscles. Yeah, man. I mean, he looks pretty nice when he oils them up. That's for fucking sure. What can I say? And Dark Descendant with the two. DSP's nuts. Connect capitalism bad to depression, lol. A hundred million views. Oh, shit. You're right, man. I should. Dude, I'm honestly debating it. Because that could be so low effort, too. Like, you literally could have, like, the shittiest fucking mic set up and everything. And just be like, well, I'm not a capitalist pig. I can't afford good equipment. You guys need to donate to my Patreon. <laughs> Redistribute your wealth to help me spread the good word. Bruh. That could be like the ultimate grift. I could pretend to be like fucking broke. I'd be like, yeah, I really need money. Like, bro, I could be the DSP of fucking socialism. Yeah, guys, I need to pay my taxes. <laughs> Bust out the Yeti mic for real, man. I got the Yeti mic sitting on the floor next to me. Yeah, bro, that's what I should do for my first video. An ebook version of the Communist Manifesto. <laughs> that could be my first video, bro. Or a series of videos. I just read it like chapter by fucking chapter and do like a chapter of video and then just milk money from it. Aw, oh, fuck me. Literally and figuratively. There's this guy in one of my classes. His girlfriend's 18 and he's 17. Poor child. That monster is grooming. <laughs> she must be brought to justice. Yeah, bro. Yeah, give me your number, bro. I'll talk to her. <laughs> yeah, bro. What a fucking evil person, right? You'd have fucking morons on Twitter calling that pedophilia. But hey, man, those 14-year-old girls really know what they're talking about.
Is it normal to hold a normal conversation with your crush in your dreams? Well, basically anything's normal in your dreams, man, so... Go crazy. DJ Aftershock with the two, a lot of socialists tend to have rich, well-off parents. Yeah, maybe. I don't fucking know, man. I feel like it's probably a mix of both. A lot of it comes down to jealousy, though. And Doom Boom with the five, another brainlit second thought video. Why are so many young people becoming socialists? Or the minimum wage debate explained. Yeah, I can imagine like most of his videos are pretty fucking stupid. Just from the one we saw. Bro, there are some dreams I have though where I literally get pissed off I wake up. Like I had like this whole like... I had this one dream once and I swear to god this shit could have been a fucking movie. Like, it is one of the most vivid fucking dreams I ever remember. Like, I could probably write all of this shit down still if I wanted to. But I literally dreamed of, like, an entire fucking movie. And it was, like... It was kind of like an Indiana Jones-style movie. But they were on, like, the quest to find, like, this massive fucking diamond orb. Or something. I don't even... Like, it was... I don't really want to go into all the details. But it was, like, the most vivid fucking dream I've ever had in my life. And it literally felt like I just watched an entire movie. Like it had the fucking setup, it had the backstory for the characters, it had like the action sequences, it had an ending. Like, bruh, I don't know. That shit was weird. Like it was literally structured like a fucking movie too. Indiana Gaming, yeah. I don't even know why, bro. Like it was the most random shit. Like, I haven't watched an Indiana Jones movie in fucking years. Write it down? Nah, I'm good. Bro, then I'll have, like, dreams where I'm about to bang, and then, like, right as it's about to fucking happen, I wake up, and I'm like, oh, fuck. Those dreams are the fucking worst when you wake up. It's like, hell yeah, bro. This shit's about to get good, and then you're like, oh, fuck, my alarm just went off. My most recent turned into an annoying gotta pee dream. Oh shit, those are fucking awful. Bro, I remember when I was like eight or something, I had one of those dreams where it was like, I dreamed that like I was peeing and then I woke up and like literally I barely caught my fucking self. Like that shit scared the fucking shit out of me. Like, I almost started, like, pissing myself, but I caught it, like, last fucking, like, literally the second I woke up. If I would have woken up, like, a second later, I probably would have already, like, pissed in my sheets or whatever. But, like, I literally had a fucking dream that I was standing in a toilet peeing. Like, it was the weirdest shit I've ever seen. I don't know. Like, why the fuck would you have a dream that you're pissing? That makes zero fucking sense. Hey, better than actually- Yeah, dude, facts. Like, I'm glad- Like, I'm glad I caught myself, but like, shit. Oh, fuck me. I killed myself. Already in Melnikov with the five. Yo, same. It's so scary when it happens. Dude, it is. It's like terrifying. The thing I hate the most, though, is when you wake up with like a fucking leg cramp. 
You guys ever had those when, like, you literally get, like, the fucking worst leg cramp of your entire life, and the only way for it to stop is for you to stand up, and then you're fucking wide awake afterwards, and you're like, well, fuck, man. It's like, damn. Bro, that shit's so annoying. I fucking hate that shit. That happened to me recently at, like, 3 a.m., and I couldn't go back to sleep. I was like, fuck this, man. I've started, like, chugging a ton of water before bed, and I haven't had them for a while, so I don't know if it's, like, a dehydration thing or what, but... Ever since I've started drinking a lot of water before bed, I haven't really had the cramp shit anymore. Or leg cramp during doggy. <laughs> I wish I could relate, but... <laughs> I've never had that happen. Uh, DJ Aftershock with the two. Your leg is stiff after a Charlie horse for a while. Bro, like, my legs... Like, that's the thing is, like, some of them are so fucking bad that, like, my leg will legitimately hurt for the entire fucking day. Like, I'll almost have, like, a limp because my muscle is still, like, fucking really tense for, like, the entire day. Ever had sleep paralysis? No, I've never had that. That shit kind of sounds mad cap to me. I don't know. I don't believe that's true. I've never woken up and been unable to move. Fuck you, bro. Snatching my kill. Yeah, I've never had sleep paralysis. Bro, whenever I wake up, it's like I literally freak the fuck out. Because I always am afraid I'm late for something. Like, whenever I wake up, like, my first reaction is, oh, fuck. Like, am I late for something? Did I miss someone, like, trying to contact me? Like, I wake up stressed as fuck, in all honesty. Like, when I wake up, I get into, like, almost like a panic. Like, oh, fuck. What time is it? Where the fuck is my phone? What did I fucking miss? What time is, like, bruh. I don't feel refreshed when I wake up. I feel, like, fucking stressed out. I don't know, I'm sure staying up to like 1 or 2 a.m. every night isn't really helping that, but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? I feel refreshed once I gather myself. I don't even feel that, man. Like, I always feel tired. Like, there's never a time where I really ever feel rested. If that kind of makes sense. But it also could be because I stay up and I don't get, like, consistently good sleep. Which I probably should fix, but, you know. It is what it is, man. I was always like that until I got a more of my boomer time going to sleep eight hours before I gotta go and type. Yeah, I probably should, man. I probably should lead a healthier sleeping lifestyle, but 
I don't know. Well, dude, it's easy to say sleep better, but, you know, the reality is I wake up at 7, I go to work at 8.30, I'm done at, like, 5 or 6, then I eat dinner, do, like, some basic shit, then I hop on stream until, like, 1 or 2, so it's kind of easy to say, like, oh, I'll just sleep better, but I don't have a ton of free time. Easier said than done. Plus, I'm about to get a dog, too, so I'm not going to be sleeping for shit. I'm going to be chilling with my puppy all night while it's up crying, going, like, whining and shit, needing to go out and pee, so... I'm going to get, f like, fucking zero sleep. Because, bro, even when that dog, like, sleeps for two hours, it's going to be up, and then it's going to start fucking crying. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm hyped for that dog, though. The dog is, like, the only thing I'm looking forward to at the moment. I am hyped. Griffin midlife crisis? What the fuck do you mean? What is my midlife crisis? What kind of dog do you want? I'm getting a golden retriever. The dog I've always wanted. So, I'm very hyped. What if the dog flops? I don't think so, man. He may flop down on the couch, but that's about it. Yeah, no, I'm not saying, like, the dog will have issues sleeping. I'm saying, like, the first couple weeks, from what I've heard, is, like, kind of a nightmare to get it used to the new place, get it used to sleeping in a crate, you know, realizing that it can't go out every hour or two when it needs to pee, so it'll be crying because it wants to get out, it'll get hungry during the night, like, you just gotta get it accustomed to the fact that, you know, it's gonna sleep. So the first couple weeks I've heard are kind of rough, but after that, yeah, it should be fine. Get a puppy? I am getting a puppy. My puppy is currently five to six weeks old at this point. I think a little over five weeks, yeah. Like a little over five weeks old, so... We're getting there, bruh. A week from... Or two weeks from Thursday, I think, is when I get to go pick it up. I believe... I'm not sure. I gotta check with them, but hopefully that's when it'll be. Two weeks from Thursday. Like, I got, I think, 60 pounds of dog food arriving tomorrow. I bought, like, a fucking massive box of dentist sticks. I got, like, toys and shit ready to go. I got the pen set up. It's crate set up. Beds. A leash, a harness, it comes with a collar, so I don't have to buy that. Like, bro, I got all this shit. I even bought my dog Yeti dog bowls, bro. This dog's, like, got fucking Yeti dog bowls. Don't ask me why I bought them, but I did. So, yeah, my dog's gonna be ballin'. Make a new poll, German Shepherd versus Golden Retriever. All right, give me a second. It's easily the Golden Retriever, but we'll give the German Shepherd a shot, but I'll know, bro. The Golden Retriever just hits different. Which dog 
is the better boy. Golden Retriever. Fuck, why can't I type? Retriever, German, Shepherd. All right. There you go. Never had a golden retriever? Bro, they're like the sweetest fucking dogs on earth. I've never had a dog, but I've been around golden retrievers and they're fucking mad nice. Bro, like a golden retriever, like the only thing they want in life is to be with you. Like that's about it, man. Like you got a companion for life with a golden retriever, no matter what. They're extremely loyal dogs. Hey. Yo, what the fuck was that shit? So Osborne and Gekio with the two, my border collie and Chihuahua, best dog I've ever had. Fair enough. Labrador Golden Retrievers will literally die for you. They are awesome dogs. Yeah. I don't know, man. In my opinion, you just cannot beat the Golden Retriever. Like, I've been around a bunch of dogs in my life, and that's, like, always the breed that's, like, fucking awesome. I don't know. They're just fun. Golden Retriever act boring? How the fuck do they act boring, bro? Like, they literally just want to play with you all fucking day, man. <laughs> like, the fuck? Golden Retrievers are extremely high energy. What do you mean they're boring? I can't afford this shit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that um golden retrievers have like webbed feet. Like I'm pretty sure they literally have like webbed paws so they can swim extremely well. So I guess I'll do one more match and then we'll get into videos. Mason with the two. I have a Doberman Pinscher purebred. She's loyal as fuck. I mean, you treat any dog, right? It'll be loyal. Like, that's the great thing about dogs. Like, a dog is a companion. A cat is a pet. Simple as that. I had a golden retriever and black lab. They would swim every day. Yeah, they love the water. Can't go wrong. No, you can go wrong with a German Shepherd. If you don't socialize German Shepherds well, then they're kind of aggressive. But other than that, yeah, I agree. You just have to make sure that when you get a German Shepherd, you take it out to meet a lot of different people because German Shepherds can very easily become one person dogs and they can get kind of aggressive. Like, that's what happened with my aunt's uh, German Shepherd. They never, like, took it out as a puppy to meet people. And the only, per like, the only people that liked was her. And basically anybody else that came near it, it would growl at them. Because it thought they were, like, intruding. 
because it was never socialized, if that makes sense. My cat is my companion all day, every day. Awesome, man. It's the exception, not the norm. My golden retriever just had puppies, and they're the most adorable pups that I've ever had. By, oh yeah, def dude, nothing beats a golden retriever puppy. Like literally the sweetest little fucking thing you've ever seen. I like this weekend. I'm going to go see the dogs, so I'll hopefully get to find out shortly after which one I'm gonna get. So I get to go visit the um, breeder on Halloween. So I will be going to visit my potential puppy, which is going to be dope. I'm hyped. I am very hyped, bro. Just got my second golden retriever pup. Awesome. Just don't take your puppy to Asia. Well, I'm not planning on flying with it, so no worries. Yeah, German Shepherds are extremely good in, like, military and police dogs because they're very easily trained. The problem is with, like, Labs and Goldens is they're way too friendly. <laughs> like, like, they'll just run up to you and just start, like, wanting to be pet and everything like that. Whereas, like, a German Shepherd can, like, take its job a little bit more serious. Because that's the thing is like most service dogs or whatever never fucking pass that are labs or golden retrievers because they're just too friendly. Was Old Yeller a golden retriever? That in fact it was. So, Golden Retrievers would want to play with the Terra- Yeah, basically, man. Like, Golden Retrievers are just way too social. That's literally all they want to do, man. They just want to love everybody. Should get a pug. I don't really like small dogs, to be honest. I like bigger dogs. Like, golden retriever sized dogs are perfect for me. Like, I want something that's not too big to be like a lap dog or whatever, but I also don't want something so small that it'll get tired if you take it for more than like a 10 minute walk. So, I think the golden retriever or like a lab would be a perfect sized dog for me. really want a guard dog to be honest like I don't really have anything that I'm um, protecting I guess <laughs> like I don't know why don't you go to work what the fuck do you mean I literally have work every day L Dragon Lozo with a five. I have four dogs, two Shih Tzus, one Mini Schnauzer, and one Marble Mini Dotson. My girlfriend wanted the Shih Tzus. I'm trying to think. I think I've seen Shih Tzus before. I've never seen a Mini Schnauzer or a Marble Mini Dotson, though. Which one is your favorite? 
Nitro Circus with the two. What do you think of a Siberian Husky for a dog? I've always kind of wanted a Husky, but I decided since I wanted to move somewhere warm eventually, it wouldn't really be fair to have a Husky because their like fur coat is not really acclimated for warm climates. So if you live in a warm climate, you have to kind of get the dog trimmed all the time so their coat doesn't get too thick, so they don't get too hot. So I just thought like, well, since I'm going to try to move to a warmer place, I don't really think that's fair to the dog. So I didn't get one, but I love Huskies. I think they're really cool. Like Huskies with those blue eyes, bro. They look awesome. Your mini Schnauzer. Awesome, man. I was debating getting two dogs, but I figured I could just do it at any point if I wanted to. Corgis are awesome though. That's the puppy I'd probably want. Um, what is it? What are they? Cocker Spaniels? Bro, those are really sweet dogs as well. They're kind of smaller, but they're not like too small. They're really sweet dogs. They're cute too. I don't know, bro. I'm hyped as shit to get my dog. I've had this thing pre-ordered <laughs> for so long at this point. <laughs> Bruh. Pre-ordering a puppy. Crazy, bro. 2021 be hitting different to the point where you have to pre-order a fucking puppy. <laughs> like... Do cats even have breeds? I have no fucking idea, to be honest. I would assume so, but I, I don't care about cats at all, so I've never really looked into them. Like, I've never wanted a cat in my entire life. Pre-ordering dogs like games? Facts, bro. <laughs> like, it's kind of wild. But, um, yeah, it was like an eight-month pre-order period. Does the Golden Retriever have papers? Yeah. Yeah, this is a really good breeder. I think they've been in business for like 20 plus years. So, yeah. Bro, like the thing is too, is the puppy food I have to order that they've been feeding them is like 70 or $80 for fucking 10 pounds. So it's like expensive ass food. So I'm pretty sure these people treat the dogs right. Like if that's the shit they're feeding them before you even get it, like, obviously, you know, they have pretty good standards. Like, they're not just feeding them some fucking Purina type shit. It's like some fucking organic, like, zero grain fucking dog food or something. I don't even know. But I ordered 60, 60 pounds of it. So, my dog food bill was pretty fucking expensive. But it is what it is. Like, for the first six months, you're not supposed to change their diet, so... It is what it is, bruh. And then also, the fact is... That, um... The dog itself costs, like, four grand. So... It ain't cheap. So, yeah, they're a pretty good breeder. So, I don't know, man. I'm hyped. I can't wait to get my dog.
four grand for a dog the fuck yup that is the current climate man when do I get my dog I think two weeks from Thursday And that's kind of cheap for my area. So. I don't know, man. The way I look at it is four grand for like 10 to 12 years of like having a dog is nothing. Like in the grand scheme of things, like who fucking cares at that point? If you get a good dog from a good breeder that's going to have less health problems because they treat their dogs right that they're bred from... You know, I feel like that's worth the extra cost because you're probably going to have less medical issues later on. So that's kind of how I look at it. But I don't know. Four grand compared to like all the years of like just pure joy you get from your dog. It seems well fucking worth it. I don't know. Yeah, the thing is, bro, is like they literally do a really good job at this breeder. So... Yeah, dude, 4K for a Golden Retriever puppy, especially the white ones, is really fucking cheap. I saw places charging 7500 And the thing is, bro, is like, literally, um, they're sold out for the next year, I think, at this point. Like, you literally can't... All of their planned litters of puppies are completely sold out for the next year or so. So, this place has a huge waiting list. But yeah, I've like bought all these vitamins, pills, fucking flea and tick treatments, all this stuff, man. I want my dog to be good. I got it like fish oil. Bro, I even bought the motherfucker like dog food seasoning. <laughs> like, bruh. This is wild. I've been buying a bunch of shit for this dog. It better be happy. I'm not saying it's not worth it. It's just pretty high in my opinion since in my area are only a couple hundred depending on the breed. Yeah, golden retrievers though are pretty expensive across the board. They're pretty expensive just regardless of where you look. So, Sam the Madman with the two, did you hear about what Fauci did to puppy? Oh, yeah, with, like, the fucking sand flies and shit. That dude's a fucking sick bastard, bro. That's a sick fuck. And Uriel Delgado with the two, Halo campaign looks sick. Hope there's flood. I do too, man. Halo 3 flood was really enjoyable. I don't like the Halo 2 flood, though. They were really fucking sweaty. Uh, DJ Aftershock with the two, watch Griffin get transferred to Fredericksburg Stafford. Why would I get transferred? Like, what the fuck? Wait, like, what would I get transferred for? The fuck? And Nitro Circus with the five. Congrats on the dog. I've had my shell tea for 11 years. Couldn't imagine what it's going to be like without her. Yeah, bro, that's the one thing I'm kind of, like, dreading. But you can't look at it that way. You just gotta, like, be thankful for the all the years that you do get. You know? And you can just kind of like take, I guess, solace in the fact that you gave him a good life. And, you know, nature runs its course. See here with the eight. Have you heard of a miniature fox terrier? It's an Australian breed and they breed to hunt vermin. So, RIP cats. Oh, nice. Yeah, I don't like cats, so. <laughs> I'm glad that the fucking dogs are taking their place. Tyrone petted basketball with the five. What performance do you think the mid-gen refresh consoles will have? 4K 120? Or do you think it'll be more of the same? I think it'll maybe get up to 4K 60. Because right now, the consoles aren't really even hitting 4K 60 at this point. It's like some checkerboard bullshit. I mean, look at Returnal, bro. That game ran at 1080p 60 FPS on the PS5. So, I don't know.
because you're cute oh shit thanks man yeah i had my cocker spaniel for about 15 years and it was probably one of the hardest things i've had to go through when i had to put him down yeah i mean that's like that's tough but the way you got to look at it is is you know you're responsible for him and when the time comes you have to be like strong enough to do what's right for them not just yourself so you can't really be selfish about it because in the wild they would just walk off somewhere and die you know so it's kind of not like i see some people like their dogs can't see or hear and they don't even know where their fucking water is they fall down the stairs and shit like it's almost like cruel it's like you're keeping that dog alive for what it's like it can't even live like it's bumping into things it doesn't know where to eat it can't see anything it can't smell anything it can't hear anything it's like a fucking vegetable i don't know because like that's the thing that dogs do as well is when you know they know they're ready to die or whatever they walk off and go die somewhere that you're not going to really find them. That's the thing. But when the dog gets to that point where it literally doesn't even know where the fuck it is, it can't even do it. So it's almost like cruel. I don't know. Bro, that was my old roommate. Just let him go. Yeah, it's it's almost more cruel to leave him alive at that point. But it's not even like leaving them alive. Like you're forcing the dog to continue to survive. Because it couldn't eat or drink or do anything on its own without people like literally spoon feeding it. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to have one of my dogs get to that. Yeah, that's the thing is like... You know, you just, it's nature. It is what it is, man. It's like the thing you have to accept when you get a dog. It fucking sucks. But you gotta do what's best for them and not just yourself. Like, if your dog's in so much pain that it can barely walk, like, is that any sort of standard of living? I don't know. Print stick figure with the 279 just got back from work. It's rainy as fuck out. Bro, it's been pouring here all day. It's been nasty. In cheerlessness of the grove with the two, it cost $59 to put it down. Wings method. <laughs> yeah, that's only uh, 59 cents. Which, I mean, I don't really see the difference in all honesty. Like, if you want to shoot your dog or take it to the doctor to get injected with a needle, like, there's really no difference. It's the same thing. You know, some people may be happier doing it with their own hand. I don't know, but I don't fucking know, bro. I don't think I would want to do it myself. Like, that'd be the one type of animal I would hesitate killing. Like a dog, bro. I, I don't know if I could do it. Especially to my own. I think shooting your dog's a little... No, it's not cruel. It's instant. It's not cruel. You just do it quickly. Sam the Madman with the two I had to put my cat down four years ago. R.I.P. Triangles? That's a unique name for a cat. Damn. That's a pretty cool name, actually. Never heard that one before. Well, no shit. If you shoot it in the fucking paw, then yeah. Duh. <laughs> fucking duh. It depends where you shoot them.
Griffin gonna I am legend this dog? Fuck no. Nah. I wouldn't do that to mine. Sam the Madman with the two, he looked like a penguin and two. Oh shit. That's pretty cool, actually. Will with the two, playing any horror games for Halloween? Nah, I'm gonna be going and visiting the um, breeder for my dog. So, probably not. That's my really only Halloween plan at the moment. I got him in midair too. I wouldn't be able to shoot a dog. I would be able, like, if a dog was attacking me, I'd be able to shoot it. But if it was my dog, I don't think I'd be able to. I think that'd just about fucking kill me. Like, that's just way too fucking sad. Dark descended with the two. Did you see Wings got in the call with X Bottle? No, I did not. How did that go? Rico swab with the five outside my house looks like a horror movie set up forest rainy windy cold absolutely dark and zero lights beside my house Windigo and coming oh shit bro somebody's finna die there I hope it's not you man wings 007 and X bottle bodied wings hard is there a video up on it did X Bottle record it? He claimed he was Sean Ranklin. I'm pretty sure Sean Ranklin has proved many times that he's not fucking wings. Are you guys down to watch that shit tonight? Y'all interested in watching the Wings fucking interview, I guess, or whatever? Yes, yes. Alright, we'll do it after this match. Seems like an overwhelming yes. Alright, so let me, um... <sighs> Fuck me, dude. Bro, my team did so fucking shit. Alright, let's go ahead and unlock some sheet. Oh, what's like the weekly, what does this look like? That looks like shit. It looks rusty. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. What's this? Prism scan? I mean, that looks all right. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? 